So here we are. This is our last night at the campsite, and we've set our our canopy up over the walkway here just as a place to stage up stuff to make dinner since this right here is so awkward you can't hardly get anything around that table and they have it bolted into the ground or whatever over there is loose but right here somehow it's anchored down so you can't move the table but one thing that I hated when I was trying to research stuff about <clears throat> about the cabins here was that I couldn't find any videos on YouTube to show me a good idea of what the cabin setup was. You can find some pictures on the Missouri State Parks website but they won't let you enlarge the pictures or anything like that so I'm gonna do a tour again real quick and show you this is cabin number five and there's the, the number right there and this was the one that I couldn't find anything about was cabin number five. So one thing is, I don't know why, but they have a stone wall here. And the fireplace is stone and it's mortar. So mortar and stone and it's not going to fall apart. So that's pretty cool. But another cool thing is this lantern post right here. And the lantern hooks that they have around this place. Oh, rocks. There's one right there. So we got lantern hooks everywhere. Um, okay. Yeah, they're fine. But over here, and again, this isn't normally sitting out, but we put this out to make more room for an air mattress because the bed that they have is not comfortable. So, um, that, you can barely see the water down there, and it is walking distance, but that's a hell of a cliff, so have fun trying to walk down there. There's another lantern hook right there. These pads, you put in a number, they'll give it to you, and it doesn't have to be Okay, so ours right here is 6825. It doesn't have to be 6825 in that sequence. It's any order of the four numbers. So you can do 8652, you can do 2658. It doesn't matter as long as it's that set of four numbers. And then you'll pull this key down and it'll op you open it up and then it gives you the key to the door. This door here. This was hard for us to figure out when we first got here. When you go to leave, you have to push this lever down right here to open this to allow it to attach to there so that when you leave, you can lock it. Otherwise, it won't lock. This door stays open on its own. No big deal. This door here, spring-loaded, makes a hell of a lot of noise. So you have to let that shut gently. The window's open, and there's chains to the ceiling there are little small chains and there's little hooks that you hook so your windows will stay open. Those windows are different. They slide open, obviously. You got a microwave and a refrigerator. That, this little ice box right here, awesome. It freezes your eggs, so you got to be careful. Um, you got your fire extinguisher and this light here has this right here. Just the one switch and then you have a ceiling fan which is the switch next to it. This is the only outlet you have for using electricity to charge your phones. This over here, if you want to get rid of your microwave, you can plug something else in over here, but I don't recommend doing that because um, you're going to need a microwave. Um, up there, this is pretty cool that they have the two beds, and it's there's two, they're full-size mattresses, but I'll let you know that the mattresses like this, they're just like this, and I'll tell you, because I'm a sergeant in the Corrections Department of Missouri, um, those are inmates' mattresses. They're made exactly like the mattresses at the prison, so sleep on that with a grain of salt. You have an air conditioner, obviously. I mean, we kind of have a little bit of a clutter going on, but I got two kids and my wife, and um, the air conditioner's there. That stays pretty cold. Um, your wood-burning stove and a box to put firewood in if you stay here in the winter time um, They've got the chairs there. This is where the table is supposed to go But you have a bench over there a bench here put the table there And then you have your chairs and I don't think this is meant for big family stays, but I don't really care There's another lantern hook and in the back corner There was another one back here. I think Maybe not. Oh, there it is. Right there. There's another lantern hook. 
and they have a lot of coat hooks and the broom that's here there's no dustpan for in here but um, they have that broom and a regular sweep broom but so and then this cabinet space down here it's all pretty cool I would assume in the winter time and there's another lantern hook but I would assume in the winter in the winter time that the uh, the mice would probably get into it pretty bad but uh, there are a lot of raccoons around here they come right up to this campsite while you're on it they don't care but anyway so that's a good tour I just wanted to make sure before I went home that I made a video for you people on YouTube to be able to search and see this but <clears throat> so far the night that we've stayed the night that we stayed three nights it's been great and I have no regrets and I'll definitely be staying again so with that enjoy your stay if you come out to to stay with the uh, the outpost cabins at Lake of the Ozarks it's definitely a place to make some memories um, especially if you're outdoor enthusiast and you like the idea of going to rent a boat or you go fishing the the, the stuff you can do here is pretty is pretty cool but um, I will tell you you probably won't find this on any reviews but those showers up there they're terrible the, they're they're nice and warm. There's no problems with that, but the the stream is it's not adjustable, and it's almost like being peed on, and it's not very easy for women to wash their hair. So um, you might try to find you can get in your car and drive over to the tent sites, and you can do showers there, which they have better shower heads. But um, that's quite a drive. It's about 15 minute drive to get over to get a shower. So. Anyway, I will get back to cooking this chicken as I can see I've kind of burned it, but it's all good. Burnt chicken, good chicken as far as I'm concerned, but have a good one and enjoy your stay.